Good day. Welcome to Martinet Design. In the continuation of our semi detached project we are working on. Now, in the last uh, tutorial, we were able to create this uh, fantastic gates. But in this particular project, I mean, this uh, video, what we we'll do is that we want to create section and give you the quick feel that you can combine all your trusses and create sources that will work perfectly so that anytime anywhere you click, click, click your or cut your section from you are going to find a model of everything equally and perfectly so let us go and do the needful as well so our combination is that we focus on the roof and the section area so from here we go to level one from the level one now we want to create a section you can create a section to two means first by view you can click on view so you select section here to create or you come to the uh, title bar at this top and you click on the section so with both of them are the same thing so i'm clicking on this so i'm working on that by focusing on this i'm going to do this from this side Okay, but I'm going to mirror it, flip it. So flipping is more easy. See, you can flip from education as well. So go back to the this place and see what we have done. So this is what we have created on this journey. So this is your the step that you have of every other thing that is needed to be applied. So the combination of the gate that we create that time and every other thing. So this is what we want to focus our attention on. So the first thing we do, as this is the section we have cut, this is beautiful. But we are not going to do any details for here now until we are able to change the trusses. The beauty of it is that we want to change the trusses is here. You collect, select the truss and say select all the stands in this field or no. You select all the stands in the field, you may decide not to select it as well. But I want to do something that is going to work for me. So I'm selecting, because if I select all the stands in the field, it's going to take double field. For them all. So I'm selecting this until I'm selecting that and then you select this one as well. So you can go to 3D and go and feel what you have selected. Did you select every 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 roof? Yes, except the only the each cap, which is beautiful. So go back to your section and there you say copy from the copy now, repeat from the top and drop it to you good the reason is that i don't want overlapping of all those elements to happen so i have done this one now which is okay for me the next thing that i want to do is that i need to change this and bring this a uh, slope glazing so if i have slope glazing it's going to go straight up that's if i have set it down before so it's like I have done these settings here because of the way I'm seeing it really. Yes, the setting has been done and I'm going to explain the setting to you now. Why you see the immediately you see all the trusses, everything is in the position. So you come to edit type and the edit type, the cutting panel is going to be empty. That is what you must realize, empty panel system. So now you fix a layout those are the grid line the vertical one and the horizontal one you are seeing are the grid line one and grid line two so you make sure make sure that they are fixed there are some other options there that by number i don't normally use by number or maximum shape or minimum shape so i use by fix i fix them in the position so at the grid mullion so grid one mullion is going to be rectangular there are so many options there too you can do that one and see so the same thing happened to this one to this two they have the same purpose and plan but I don't use them because I only focus on what and that particular one. It may not you may decide to use other other one type but instead of interior type but I always use interior type because that's what I master most and there is nothing uh, different you can make your own experiment with so many things on your own conveniency so that is how it works so I'm using that and I have to click OK and everything stable for me to use so but one thing that give me edit is that i'm seeing lines which i suppose not to see i don't want to be seeing line inside this line so before before then 
how to remove this because I don't like the way look at it from the elevation. I'm going to see how these things are going to be combining and be causing confusion among what you have created. So this is what you need to do by doing what edit the edit footprint I'm going for the list, change this one and edit it first. So edit the footprints. So what you do is that you offset them without copy like 200 or 250 so that to give you more space to room inside so that it will not be swaying from elevation or anywhere you have, you have seen them so you do that and you click and everything is done say so click finish and write to upload so do so you see you are not seeing them again so you do the same thing for this one as well go to elevation south so select this is this what we what I do okay that's what I did so I think you are going to recess it a little bit more inside because it's like giving I'll be using 400 this time around is 200 so that it's the the trousers should not be shown from the elevation it's not ideal or ideal that that manner so let's check it out now yes it's not within so good so you do the same thing here so click edit go to size and say okay you know that's your combination of food so then I'm using this one by clicking 400. So take it in, take it in, take it in, and inside again. Click finish. So you do for here, you do for this one. So you do the same thing for this guy below as well. So go to your section and select it. So edit. So everything needs to be edited individually. But you are going to enjoy the purpose of doing it because this one is may not take it too far because this is small group, not just 300. So click change. So that is it for the aspects. So those things are there and they are entering inside. Ah, it's too big for me. And we can use. So oh, I'm going to return it back because this space, that space, that gap is much. So I'll set it back. Let's take it back to two, two hundred. Mm. Because it it takes a lot of uh, space. Suppose not to finish it so go back to that level to that view and see whether okay I think it's okay a little bit so this one is a little bit reasonable so now you can move it a bit up I mean, sorry Just select from where okay and you click it up so that's it so you've done that so now what I want to do is that I don't want this because I don't like this way I'm seeing this one so I'm going to select here now and say in the figure graphics just say override the elements don't click visibility and say this so I think it's gone so this gives you the room to manipulate your so you do the same thing here as well and you say by elements and you say silhouette
broken apply so we don't use background we use foreground apply so you are going to see them again before go so to represent the whole failure that you, you needed most so that is what you do here so the next thing to you for you to do is that you copy here you do your annotate and say cover the region fill the region and then select the area you are covering up so remove this one a little bit up this one a little bit down you say finish so that is it for that so you select this one and go to your fatica i think how many fatica you have you can change it so there's another fatica that's combined so you have done this one which is okay so the next thing we need to do is to bring the letters into space for this to work with yeah so but before then look at it from 3d is anything wrong with what we have done something is missing this one is out so why is it out we don't know so go to elevation capitalize on that and make sure that it's been adjusted It's because of the height, so you can reduce it. So this is the height I call it. Yeah. So I think it's the height. So as you are seeing in the like that, you can come to this choices and say select and say hide all the elements, select all instance in this view. Then you can hide them. So you see the trusses, the way they are combined together, and all those things. So they have never put ceiling, just ceiling can be sand later, and things like that. Those are the, the, the trusses as it being laid down according to the roof pattern. So you can work on it and do more experiments. This one will help you a lot by the time you are doing your soap. So that is it. So we are returning it back to the original view. So click there to the view. Select this and say select all instance in this view. So add the elements and return them back to where it's supposed to be. So that is it for that. And you go back to the section what you have done and start working on the remaining part. So the next aspect of which you want to work upon now is that you want to put the letters into this so how do you do that i have the document for here so i'm going to do that and select it Ctrl c the way i've written it for somewhere so here i'm going to do is i'm going to select text and click this one and i'll say Ctrl v so it's being pasted according to the whole thing so if you have your own and your letters are more bigger you can come to this place and edit it change the stylus change the type of uh, font you want whatsoever the type of font you want is applicable in this place so change the size change everything so we're using them so i have this one so now what i need to do is to bring the line i always combine all my lines together though it depends your, for your clients your client might say okay you want everything to be labeled one after the other so you're going to be selecting for line selecting finish places all the hardwood and the size and everything you'll be doing them by point, pointing the lines to them one after the other so that's how you work on some category so this i've done it for this one so the next one now is that i want to create the i'm using in the insinuation to feed the foundation 
my foundation gap so i'm doing this one now i click through till i have what i need to have so if this is okay by me it's okay by you it's okay by everybody so if you are not okay you can add more detail and more expression to this so in this place now you bring the letters by clicking and say bedroom this is bedroom so according to what you are saying you can go to your plan and go and copy them and bring them to this place for you to work on so to make it more faster and more quick and if you are the type that you can type quick for yourself you can do the same thing so the next thing that i'm going to do the foundation thickness to see and I say okay from here I'm using the same thing by here copy this one you are not going to use control fit to that it's only when you are clicking inside control fit and control speed so this one has already brought the, the details of the foundation so it's going to be specified by the engineer so that's how it is because now it's like a three-story building it's not something that only mere architects can just do so this require the function of a big time professionals so that is it. so as you have done this one now this is beautiful so you can now hide this and the same time was so that you know that you don't need the game you can hide them for your own taste make sure that all these things are aligned together and the next thing i want to do is to use a dark mode to express my so i'm going to use color this is the beauty that uh, that is in the Revit. So I've used a dark color. Yeah. So this dark color give me the nefetition. And I want to cast shadow on it. This is the shadow. What I don't like is too cloudy. So I'm using something different. So I'm going to use lighting and change the lighting pattern and change the lighting way. So I'm going to use this one and say 75 by 10. So click OK and let me see how far so can you see it has reduced it and it look beautiful and look great so that is how you combine all those things together and do your beautiful project and do your beautiful job this is the beginning of it the next aspect you are going to combine the details and explain the full details of each one of them like foundation like gay details and whatsoever details how to do this in the architecture for this it's a big time project that you work on so continue to work if you are joining for the first time kindly subscribe to our channel and continue to like at the same time continue to share so we continue to work with you on daily basis thanks you